Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about a topic uh, that is related to the professional growth of an individual that's called PNI. And uh, this is also known as training need identification. So on PNI ko training need identification the whole hand. So training need identification is a systematic and comprehensive assessment carried out to determine the gap between the existing skills and knowledge processed by an individual or a workforce and the desired level of competence. So, if my workforce is here, level I level 1 knowledge, ka, but the desired hai mera, this is the desired level. So, this is the same So, that assessment or a systematic assessment is called TNI. So, efficient training need identification is crucial as it enables resources, time, and effort to be directed towards areas that require improvement the most. So, if I have for example, char processes hai, okay, and merko jangna hai ki kis me TNI chahiye taki desired level of output aaye ya TNI karna is me hum TNI karenge aur fir hum desired level of output ke saath usko gauge karenge and for example we require here, right? So, is ke hisab se hum is pe efforts dalne shuru kar do hai. So, what is the process of doing a TNI? So, TNI, first of all, uh, we go ahead and conduct a thorough assessment of the individual or the workforce. And uh, the assessment can be carried out in many ways. Like, uh, we can go ahead and conduct surveys. We can go ahead and conduct interviews. We can go ahead and check on focus, group, discussions, right? And we can also go ahead and check the performance evaluations. So, if I talk service industry ki baat karu, ya ek BPO, then there are calls audited is what I'm talking about here in performance evaluation. So we go ahead and collect that data, right? And and that, that depends upon the situation as well, right? So the goal is to collect the data which is accurate and reliable as for the current abilities and the skills. So it's a biased nahi hona chahiye. To calls audited honi chahiye, ya interviews, ya focus scope, ya surveys, that shouldn't be biased at all. Okay. Once the data is collected, we go ahead and analyze to identify patterns, trends, and deficiencies in the workforce. So, we have for example, we go ahead and check the audited calls, right? I'm just talking about a BPO scenario here at the moment. So, we go ahead and check the audited calls. We can also go ahead and check interviews surveys whatsoever we discussed in the previous slides right so depending upon the that we go ahead and identify patterns we go ahead and check trends we go ahead and check any deficiencies and after that we go ahead and Prioritize the areas that require immediate attention or resources that require immediate attention. So this is how we go ahead and do a TNI. But the last step is we go ahead and gauge a, a device a training plan. So a training plan jata hai, depending upon the identified gaps. And this includes setting clear objectives, determining the most suitable methods like classroom, online, or on job, and then deciding on the appropriate evaluation methods to gauge the subsequent 
improvement. So we go ahead and gauge the efficiency or we go ahead and gauge the improvement. Now, TNI the benefits can. Now let's talk about the benefits. So the first and the foremost ben benefit is we go ahead and maximize on the investment. So if I have a resource hired kara hai A, B, C, which desired output level X, Y, Z hai, but वो यहाँ पे stable है तो उसका जो यहाँ पे है जो knowledge gap है उसको fulfill करके with the help of TNI I can go ahead and increase the ROI right so this is the first advantage this what is the second advantage of conducting so the second advantage is to go ahead and we go ahead and enhance Employ engagement. Agar my ek employee ko, go ahead, I go ahead and conduct trainings for him, right? And that's for their development. And also for their well being. So, usko lagega ki company mere pe efforts laga rahi hai, right? And hence he will feel motivated to work. So this is the second advantage. So we'll have lesser attrition. Attrition come over, right? And leading to more stable and productive workforce. So this is the second advantage. Now, with that being said, that we come to an end to this video. We hope uh, you found the information productive. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Please feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. We would uh, like to hear from you as well. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, Continuous improvement is the key to personal and professional success. Thank you.